Hey everyone, it's Coach Louise. So I wanted to bring you a kind of a Real Talk Tuesday series. Um, I want to just one for my own benefit. Uh, there's a lot of different topics that affect us, um, our health, how we live fit every day um, that affect not just our physical, but our mental, emotional, spiritual um, health and really how we show up in life. And so there's lots of different topics that I would like to, you know, research and delve into and then bring you um, some information on it because why not? Um, so if you have some topics that you would like some information on, definitely comment below and let me know what kind of topics or interests of yours. Um, one of the ones I was thinking about is, you know, when you hit a plateau, one I might do next is when you hit a plateau and how carbs play into that. Um, I don't um, subscribe to any totally cutting out any macronutrients or doing any of that. Um, but you know, my husband and I are looking at our own nutrition and how to tweak some things to better to function more optimally, uh, reduce inflammation, reduce any chronic um, joint issues and things like that. So that's one topic that I'm looking at. So if you have some, definitely let me know below. Um, and any questions that you might have regarding today's topic. So, do you know your shit? <laughs> and um, I don't swear a lot, so it kind of sounds weird coming out my mouth, but it's just the reality of the matter. Um, and so we're gonna talk poo. And it's important because, and, and uh, not very, um, you know, talked about, much talked about, however you wanna say that subject. But what we go in, what we, we talk about everything you know, about clean eating and how important it is that what you put into your body, how important that is. But um, you know, what happens is that that becomes waste. We digest that. So I'm gonna share a little bit about that process. Um, and then what happens is, you know, we have poo, that's the end result. And so what is your poo telling you? Um, so we'll kind of give you some, you know, things to look for. Um, that are telltale signs on whether your nutrition, whether your digestive system is operating um, optimally. Okay, so poop really is waste. Um, it is a combination of food that is not being digested, not being absorbed, not being broken down and absorbed as nutrients that your body's going to use. Um, it is, you know, that plus um, dead cells, uh, bacteria mucus, um, and, and so that's what kind of, in water, and that's what makes up your poop. Um, so there's, there's four different things to look for when you, um, and <laughs> you may not look, you may just flush, but so you've got texture, uh, the shape and the texture, you've got color, you've got the frequency, and buoyancy. Did you know buoyancy was a thing when it comes to bowel movements and poo? I don't think I really even thought about that. Hey Sandra, glad you can join on, talking a little bit about poo, talking some shit. <laughs> so let's talk about texture. Obviously, um, optimally, what they, you want to have like a sausage shaped um, bowel movement. Uh, it should not be too firm, too hard, or nor too soft. Um, and you know, and they say sort of, sort of like an S shape, but you know, typically because it's coming down through your large intestine. Um, the if it, so that is normal, just a, like a sausage shaped. There is really rather smooth looking, um, and not hard, and but not too soft. So just a nice firm. Um, so if you do have a hard, more lumpy um, poo, then that means that's a telltale sign. Uh, that you need more fiber and you are probably not drinking enough water. So you need more intake of liquid intake, water being your best source, of course. Um, and the same with um, soft and watery poo, that means, you know, that's not good, right? When we have watery, too soft, if you, you need your, your poo needs to be formed. That's a healthy um, bowel movement. So when it's soft and watery, that means that you either have diarrhea or you're on the verge of diarrhea. So bad. And, and that could be for a, a number of reasons. Um, you could have eaten something bad. You may be on the verge of or have an infection. Um, and if you just got flat out diarrhea, initially, um, 
my belief is let it run its course because that is a reaction. Your body's having a reaction that there's something going on and it's trying to avoid whatever that bad bacteria, bad infection um, is going on in your body. If you've eaten bad food, it's trying to get rid of it. <clears throat> um, so initially, my belief is you let it run its course. Now, if you have several days of diarrhea, of course, you want to probably take something and then go see your doctor. So, um, but I think too often we treat the symptoms and we don't let our body do what it's, it's naturally supposed to do. Um, now, if your poo is sort of oily and it sticks to the side of your bowl, that means that you are not um, or that you have excess oil in your actual waste. And that means your body's probably not absorbing oil very well. Um, and that can be an indicator of just a poor digestive system of things going on in there as well. Um, and again, eat, make sure you're getting enough fiber and drinking your water. So you should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces every day. So if you're 150 pounds, you should be drinking at least 75 ounces of water every single day. So if you have a container like this, it's 24 ounces, that would be at least three of these every day. So um, not just sipping on water, be intentional about it because that really makes a difference in everything your body does. Um, okay, so that was texture. So color, um, did you know you have a rainbow of poo? <laughs> so the obvious stereotypical poo is brown. Um, and brown is good. Brown means it's healthy. Brown, it, your, your waist turns brown because of the bile um, juices that help with the digestive process. So brown is good. So you want a sausage shaped brown, not too hard, not too soft poo. <laughs> um, if it's green, um, that could be a couple of things. Uh, sometimes if you eat a lot of power, a lot of, uh, you know, greens like leafy greens uh, green vegetables dark dark greens um, if you eat a lot of that you might see a bit of a green tinge to your poo um, but it's also an indicator that your your poo is moving too fast through your large intestine system test intestines so um, so you can get fiber works in two ways so they're soluble and insoluble so there's one that helps make sure things are going well, but there's also a part of the fiber that helps keep you from being going too well, right? So it keeps you even keeled, um, not constipated and not in diarrhea. So if it's green, just keep an eye on that. Um, if you've been eating lots of green, dark green veggies, then you know that's probably part of what it is. But if you haven't been and it's green, then you might want to look at that. Um, and talk to your doctor about it. So yellow, not good, and especially if it's foul smelling. Um, that again is another indicator that you have excess fat that's not getting absorbed by your body for whatever reason, could be a couple of reasons. Um, you have a malabsorption, it could be celiac disease. Now again, I'm not an expert, I'm not a doctor, I'm just presenting some facts on you know, some telltale signs to look for in your own fecal matter and um, whether that, you know, these things that you see, whether they matter and whether you should um, go see a doctor or take other measures like up your intake of fiber, make sure you're drinking your water, you know, um, and then so like with the yellow, if it's an indicator of malabsorption, it, you could possibly have celiac disease. That is where you are intolerant to gluten, which most people are, it causes inflammation and, um, that can really wreak havoc with your digestive system. So um, if that is your case, then probably go gluten-free for a while. See if that, you know, be intentional with that and see if that, you know, um, clears things up. Now, if your poo is light white or kind of a clay colored, um, it's not totally alarming, although I thought that was interesting because, you know, we just, poo should be brown. Um, but it could just, be, it could be an indicator that your bile duct um, the digestive ju juices that need you're needed in your small intestine to break down your food, you're, you're having there might be an obstruction there. So it, because you, the, the bile makes your poo brown. So if your poo is light colored, that means it's not getting the bile to it that breaks it down and helps absorb in the small intestines. So there could be an obstruction in your bile duct, which is your um, your from your liver and your gallbladder. That's where that all happens. So. See, the, see your doctor if you have light white or clay color, I have a hard time saying clay color poo. Um, and then black poo, red poo,
bad, go see a doctor. <laughs> Both of those are strong indicators that you may have internal bleeding, um, if you've got blood, you know, red poo or signs of red in your poo, you, you know, for some reason the blood is getting in there and that is never good, so you definitely wanna see your doctor. Now, if you eat beets, Beets will turn your poo red. It'll turn your pee red. Um, first time I didn't realize that and I was freaking out. My goodness. So love beets, um, but now I know. So not, not don't be alarmed with that. Okay, so we talked about texture. You want a sausage shape, not hard, not too soft. It should be brown. That's a healthy poo. Frequency. Typically speaking, one to two times a day. Um, but that varies for people and it's if you're not having a one to two time sit down don't you know it's not like you got to run to the doctor um it just depends on people in their in their diets right you really should at least once a day is per, per healthy um if you're going a couple of days and you're really uncomfortable then then you want to go see a doctor you might want to take something um and even just melted coconut oil have a couple tablespoons of that That'll lubricate that whole system, um, and that will get things going. So, and it's very natural and laxative, um, so and very gentle. So, so that's frequency. So don't be alarmed with that. I mean, people vary. You know, some people have several times a day, and some people one every two days. Um, it really just depends on what you're putting in your body. If you're getting enough water, if you've got enough fiber, um, if you've got other issues going on. So ideally you want one to two times a day. And, um, but you know, if you're feeling really uncomfortable all the time and you got lots of gas or bloated belly pain, then you might want to look into why you're not going often enough. And then the last thing, buoyancy. Um, I did not know this was a thing. This is why I love researching this stuff. Um, there's floaters and there's sinkers, and the generally speaking, you want a slow sinking poo. You want a slow sinking brown sausage shaped, not too hard, not too soft poo. <laughs> um, I know I'm amusing myself. So generally, slow sinking is best. However, um, floating you know, could be a sign of poor digestion, but, and that, that excess fat, if you're not absorbing the fat. However, there's some controversy on it as far as if you've got, if you're eating a good amount of fiber in your diet, that means you're, and you're getting the prebiotics into your system, you're creating more gases in your digestive tract, and that is going to make your poo less dense, so it may be a floater. And just TMI, um, today I didn't flush right away and I watched to see what mine was and it's a floater and I consider myself pretty good with my nutrition. So, um, so there you go. <laughs> so um, if you ever watch yours and you wanna comment below what yours is, uh, I would be happy to know that, I would. Um, okay, so, got a comment, okay. Um, so what do you want to do? You want to make sure 35 grams is really the what they say is your average the daily intake that you want of fiber. If you don't get enough fiber right now, start slow because you will it will become uncomfortable. You'll create too much you, you'll um, you know uh, if you dump too much fiber into your digestive system like right from the get go, it really just whoo, and you're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to be bloated and you're going to be gassy and you don't want that. So introduce it slowly, but you should be doing 35 grams of fiber a day. Um, eliminate gluten. I would just highly suggest that, and I know we everybody gets on this kick gluten free, you know. But truly, if you've looked into what gluten is and how it affects our system, um, and it's just um, everybody will operate better without it. It causes inflammation um, and a lot of digestive discomfort. So if you can, you know, choose gluten free products, um, you're going to be better off. So. Um, so let's just recap. One to about one times a day is healthy, at least, and you should have a sausage shape, shape not smooth and firm, not too firm poo. Uh, it should be brown with no visible signs of food in it or blood, um, because if you've got undigested food, then that's an indicator of something else is going on, right? Um, and the smell, didn't talk about smell, but you know, poo is poo, and it's gonna have a smell, but if it's really super unpleasant, really foul smelling, um, you know, <laughs> 
what was the indicator there? I don't know, but you know, I think you'll know when it's beyond uh, the normal unpleasant poo smell. So that's what you want to do just to make sure you're healthy. So and again, drinking a lot of water. And let me just tell you, um, I did, this is a topic that was important to me because my mom had her entire stomach removed. So they connected her, the digestive tract starts in from your mouth down to your anus. So whatever you put in has to go through this in gastrointestinal tract, the digestive tract, and come out the bottom, right? Um, so without a stomach, which is really just where your food is stored and the breakdown starts to happen there, that's not kind of, you know, in, in, so you get the top where the bulk sits and then it kind of filters down to the bottom. The digestive juices start breaking it down and then it slowly feeds it down into your small intestine and that's where the bile comes in and really breaks it down into the molecules that get absorbed by your small intestine and then and then absorbed into your bloodstream and used and it's disseminated into your body. And anything it doesn't use goes down to the large intestine and out through your bum. So um, we were looking at the, that bile uh, pr production and how that all plays. Um, her esophagus is connected straight to her small intestine. So um, there's uh, something going on in the small intestine with her in the bile and it's causing things to go down too quickly and not absorbing enough nutrition for her and causing some problems down at the bottom end. So, um, and then when we step up the bottom end, it wants to come up the, the top end. So um, very, very delicate. And so it just, to me was like, okay, let's look into this. What is really going on and why does this all matter? And so we had to collect a sample of course and go and do that. And so that was kind of what really instigated this all, but we don't think about it, right? But what we put in, our body either is either gonna use or it's gonna eliminate. And if we're putting in things our body doesn't recognize, you're going to wreak havoc on your digestive system. It's going to be toxic, it's going to be waste, it is not going to absorb it, it's not going to use it for anything, and you are just um, messing with the biome they have. There's this environment in your gut and you mess with that and you are going to have chronic digestive health issues that um, wreak havoc in your entire body because that's where all your nutrients that run your body come from. So um, I plead to you, definitely make sure what you're putting in is the good stuff, um, high quality, and um, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. And if you have any questions on it, definitely reach out to me. Um, if this was helpful to you, I'd love for you to share it. and. Um, and if you need help, if you've got digestive issue problems, definitely reach out to me and um, I would be happy to share some of my research and what I know about it with you. And um, we'll go from there. All right, everybody, thank you for joining and for watching. And um, let's see, let's see, we got some comments. Green hard poo, yuck. Yes, ick, ick. And feeling sick with green hard poo. Yeah, that is not good. Um, you know, that's things are moving too fast to your large intestine. Um, so definitely next time you go to the doctor, um, let them know that's what's happening because there's something going on with your digestive process. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much for joining in. I will see you next Tuesday for a real talk at two and let me know if you have any, um, topics that you would like researched and brought to you because I enjoy doing that. Ha have a great day, everyone. Coach Louise, living fit every day. Bye.